Welcome to my talk, Lead Your Future with Org. Who am I? I'm Andrea, I work as a Scala software engineer somewhere in the Netherlands, and I inherited my passion for Emacs from my PhD supervisor. From that moment on, I got in synergy with it. You can find more about me and my interests at ag91.github.io, that is the place where I keep my, bo my blog, and uh, I blog uh, weekly, and on a weekly basis. Uh, let's get into the bulk of the talk. Uh, why I needed a vision? The main, main problem is that I have too many interests, I like a lot of things, and these things take time, and then I have too little time to do other things that are very important as well. Uh, and so I need priority, and, um, and that vision in my mind is both an ambition, something that I want to do with my life, and at the same time is a way to uh, focus my efforts to, uh, and get rid of some stuff that fundamentally is not something I really care so much about. Uh, even if you come up with a vision and so with a smaller uh, scope of things that you want to do, even then you have to take this uh, ambition of yours, this vision, and uh, as disassemble it in very small uh, steps. And uh, org mode is very good at taking uh, care of this because you can uh, uh, keep track of to-dos in, uh, in org mode. So let me show you how I keep uh, an agenda uh, that also keep track of my vision. So for, the, for this talk, uh, our uh, running example vision will be I want to bring joy to people and I want to live in synergy with the planet. Okay, so given this two vision, let's open the agenda. You, you will see on the right that now I have some uh, tasks both on Tuesday and both on uh, Friday. And uh, things to notice is that we said that one of our vision is uh, synergy with the planet, so some tasks are annotated on the left with uh, this category and uh, some with uh, bring joy to, to people. So in this way you can distinguish, okay, where are my, where is in this day, where, uh, where my effort is going in these days. The other thing is uh, the specification of these uh, tasks and then uh, at the end you can notice a tag at the, on the right that uh, as essentially a, 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 a guess of how long uh, this task will affect, uh, have an effect over the future. So, for example, installing a solar panel uh, onto my roof is uh, gonna have uh, uh, an, an effect of 10 years over uh, my life if I manage to achieve that. That is my rough uh, uh, guess. And you will notice that the ones that have a bigger amount, so 10 years, are over the 5 year one. Because I order my uh, day so that the, the tasks that are more important or that I believe have more effect on, over my future, I order them, I sort them so that they appear at the top. Uh, in this way, I can basically decide, okay, today I watched a, a funny uh, cats laughing video on you on YouTube, but uh, I should take in consideration when I look at my agenda that I've traded that uh, small uh, fun uh, for today with something that could have uh, had an effect over a longer uh, period of time. Uh, let me show you how I also exploit the facilities of uh, the Torgo mode come uh, with uh, to capture a task. So if, I, if something comes to mind, say for example. Uh, I want to learn how to uh, keep uh, bees, let's say. So I will. Uh, uh, I have two templates available to me. I will choose one. Uh, the first thing that is asked to me is, okay, how long will this affect uh, your life? So I like sweets, so it will uh, affect a long time if I manage to produce only for myself. Uh, so I choose 10 years and, and then I specify the task. So learn how to keep bees. Uh, I collect this task, it will now appear in the middle because 10 years is between 20 years and uh, 5 years. So I know that if I put some effort in learning how to keep this, I should be quite happy for, uh, for today. Okay, so say that I do it, say that uh, uh, that's it. So how, once I've done this task, how, how, how can I be, how do I know how much progress I'm doing? 
and the way I can do that is uh, by retrospecting uh, weekly or monthly about the, the successes or the progress that I am doing. Uh, how I do it is simply by running this kind of snippet that shows me that this month I have uh, done uh, three tasks uh, for bringing joy to people and three tasks for uh, synergy with the planet. Uh, this is useful because uh, you can repeat it and it will be appended so every time you run it again you can compare if you are uh, how you are working how towards your goals and if you are focusing more on bringing joy to people or you are focusing more on synergy or is uh, a balanced effort uh, a thing that I want to, to share and this, that uh, I think can be useful to you is that this function I use that I made for myself to create these statistics uh, is a wrapper around a very enjoyable uh, library, uh, orgql, that is a way that allows you to query and group uh, addings, do analysis on addings or restructuring uh, 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 and view addings uh, in a... In a in a SQL function uh, fashion, so you, you with a syntax very similar to SQL, you can manipulate your headings and visualize them or just get statistics as I've done here. Finally, for this talk, uh, say that you have uh, you are doing progress, that uh, progress most likely will generate some useful knowledge for yourself. And uh, I, my way to, do, to store this knowledge is through OrgRom, another interesting mode that is uh, very that sh that uh, is become very very relevant and known today. Uh, and uh, the idea is that I simply, if I learn uh, how to uh, make uh, how to install a solar panel, uh, that is can be useful knowledge that I can link to some other uh, knowledge that I have and so create my own knowledge base and, and save it for later use and uh, my later use is typically my uh, in this case my my blog in, in here I have a few notes that are basically a synthesis of knowledge that I have uh, collected do, doing my tasks towards my vision and with this, uh, this is all I wanted to show you for this talk um, you can follow me at my blog ag91.github.io that is also where I am going to save uh, share um, a version of this org uh, mode file that allows you basically to create uh, the same uh, kind of configuration I have here and you can create an instance by running this, uh, this uh, snippet of Emacs in which you can just run this example an extended uh, example I will also add to just play around safely with this kind of uh, configuration. So enjoy the rest of the conference, catch you later, nice to meet you, bye bye.